Oh, hey everyone, Andrew here. In today's showcase video, we're going to be learning about the giant puffball mushroom. The Cavatia gigantea, also known as the giant puffball mushroom, it appears mostly in North America and also over in Europe, specifically in the UK. It's mostly a late summer, early fall mushroom, so if you're out there mushroom hunting, that's when you're more than likely going to see it. Uh, it appears on grassy plains, uh, some woodland floors, even in some people's yards. It just really depends where how far the spores travel when it bursts. The uh, mushroom's actually pretty unique. It's much larger than typical puffball mushrooms which are usually about the size of a grape. The giant puffball mushrooms will be anywhere between the size of a baseball to a beach ball, sometimes even bigger. I've seen them even bigger than that. So it's actually pretty incredible when you stumble across an entire patch of them. It's just absolutely breathtaking. In my own personal experience, we didn't get to see any giant puffball mushrooms last year. At least not ones that were young enough for us to eat. Uh, by the time we had looked around and foraged around for a while, we found a number of different mushrooms. But unfortunately, the puffball mushrooms that we found were already too far gone. Uh, luckily, this late summer when we were forging around in the same woods, we were able to find a huge patch of them. There were about four of them, and uh, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> Nikki was actually the first person to find them, technically. I saw it first, to be honest, but unfortunately I didn't investigate it. That was my own fault. I thought it was trash. I thought it was like a ball that got left in the woods, and I saw it from a distance, so I really didn't even know. But typically when they're about to spore, this is how they look. They get much darker on the outside, they start breaking apart, and that's a good indicator that it's not edible. You want it to be pure white on the inside when you cut open the mushroom. That's something you want to do in the very beginning too. You want to cut open the mushroom to see if it's even worth your time to take home. Unless you want to take it home with you anyway and maybe let it spore and see if you can get some to grow in your own yard. Uh, that's up to you. We went ahead and did that ourselves. We took one with us to uh, spore. We took another home to eat. We ate about half of it and froze the other half. And the uh, third one we gave away to a friend so they could eat it. So it's a pretty hearty mushroom. Pretty filling. We tried uh, cooking it a couple different ways. I know you can grill it, but we went ahead and just deep fried it and then just pan fried it. And we kind of put some steak seasoning on the one that we pan fried and the other one that we deep fried we just used some sauces with and it's actually a pretty tasty mushroom. And what I like about it is that it absorbs flavor very very well so if you find it and are looking for a egg replacement I think it would be phenomenal for that. Just add some turmeric when you're cooking in the pan and maybe some black salt for that sulfuric type uh, flavor, I think it would make an amazing uh, mushroom-based egg replacement. Make an awesome omelet, maybe even scrambled eggs. I think it'd be super, super tasty. Um, one of the things you want to do when you do cut into the mushroom is to make sure it's clean white on the inside. If it's got any kind of bugs or anything, or it's even slightly off-white, that means it's not young anymore and it's getting ready to spore, so you're not going to want to eat it. That's pretty much a cardinal rule for all puffball mushrooms, but especially for the gigantic ones. It's also very uh, good to cut it in large slices because when it cooks, it kind of shrivels down and shrinks down. So you're going to want it to be as decent of a slice as possible, so make sure there's thick slices. Another thing I should mention is that you need to peel back the outer skin of the mushroom before you cut it open. It just has this very thin kind of rubbery type of a skin. So you 
peel that off and then it is good to cut and good to cook. As far as medicinal qualities go, the mushroom was used by Native Americans as a bandage. They would put it over a bleeding wound and it would help the blood co coagulate better. So that's kind of interesting. There's also been some uh, tests done with mice that show a reduction in tumors when they eat the puffball mushroom. So there's a chance that the mushroom might actually have some anti-cancer properties too. So that's also pretty great. Well, that's everything I have for you today. Hopefully you guys have learned something. If you did, and by all means, please drop a like. And subscribe for more videos.